Good day everyone, welcome to Studio 39 Design Studio. Richmond speaking here, your architectural and interior designer. In this video, I want to speak about how I model large-scale projects faster. This is not a design video, it's more so a modeling uh, tutorial video to help you guys work on large-scale projects to, to model them faster. So previously in companies that I've worked in before, I did some uh, master planning projects, which included modeling multiple large-scale buildings uh, for a specific site. So, so here I already have my master model, so I have the site, uh, set up boundary walls and all the other amenities. This is how I use hot link modules. I've already done a video on how to um, hot link other ARCHICAD models into other ARCHICAD models. I'm not going to go into that right now, but I'm gonna leave a, a link on the top right hand corner right now and maybe a link in the description. So go check that out. So this is a project that I did, it's in Sharon Park. So as you can see here, guys, there's um, there's technically uh, three blocks on the site. Um, I was tasked to do like an uh, apartment blocks, um, mid to high end uh, design. And then I had to also fit a parking base on the site. So according to the zoning uh, rules on the site, but that's a story for another day. So. Uh, the main thing that I want to get into is that, as you can see, guys, here is that the, there is a, a this is an actual hot link module that of a building or that I brought in. So what I like about hot link modules is that I don't have to model this building again because this building and this model and that model are actually the same model. So I only have to model it once and then I bring it in and then it, it creates multiple building, uh, multiple buildings on the master site or the master model that I'm going to be using. Uh, another thing that I want to show you guys is that I have another different type of um, a block module that I created. So these two are two separate buildings, but they are exactly the same. But in between, as you can see, there's a staircase. Uh, in between here and this staircase is modeled inside the specific model so it's not modeled outside so other things that I also didn't want did not want to model inside the master model was the gatehouse which is also a hot link module itself and the other thing was the uh, caretakers um, not the caretakers house it was the daycare center so this is the daycare center also on the, the side here so as you can see guys, everything else like fencing, uh, paving, uh, roads, curbs, uh, walls, uh, gates, boom gates, it's all modeled in this specific models. But for the large scale uh, models, I modeled them separately and then brought them into this uh, one uh, master um, model, I guess. So yeah, um, that's it on the side. I mean, also, it, it works with presentation-wise presentation, presentation -wise because I then went on to present. So this is the basement level and then this is the uh, ground floor level. I'm going to switch off the, the tracer referencing. So this is the ground floor. The ground floor here, we have um, sort of like a, a coffee shop here and then some sitting a sitting area on the outside. So maybe let me give this a 3D. Um, okay, so the... The layer combination 3D really doesn't do much here, so I'm just gonna leave that out. Um, and then the other one has the laundry, the other the other one has the caretaker's house, and then these ones just have apartments at on the ground floor which come out to the outside here. So they have yeah, backyards or something like that. And then uh, you go on to the next floor, you know, it shows up properly and then you go on to the last floor and then you also have your roof plan. So I really like how hot link modules work uh, nicely. That So I really like how Archicad has set this up. As you can see, guys, I mentioned that there are two 
blog modules that I created. So this is another one of my sites that I created. So I'm going to switch this one off. I was still in design mode on this one. So I'm going to definitely go ahead and switch that one off. So this is um, block number one. So as you can see, guys, so block number one, let's, let's go on to, on, on to the floor layout, starting with the ground floor, you know, and switch off the trace referencing so that it does not uh, look weird. So this is a two bedroom apartment. They are mirrored onto them to each other. And then uh, on the first floor, you have uh, one bedroom apartments, four of them in a row uh, mirrored onto each other. And then on the second floor, you also have one bedroom uh, unit apartments. So another thing I like about Akiket is that as you can, as you can understand guys, so let's go into 3D here so understand that there's in these block modules i also have other modules which are actually unit modules so this two bedroom apartment is actually a hot link module brought into this module uh into this um block module if, if, if you say that and then i just mirror it to the other side so how you mirror it is i can just say Control shift m and then i can just mirror it something like this and then i have another set of uh apartment uh, apartments on the side so let's just start for another day even these ones i only had to model this um uh, one bedroom unit or studio apartment uh, once and then i just duplicated over and over the only thing that i did not um I, I had to model in this is the roof but the rooms and the walls and then the the, the features are also just modeled in like this type of features and then these uh, sort of like falling um uh, falling walls even the balustrade the, the the balconies and stuff like that the roof the parapets uh, if that's what you want to call them the uh this stuff like uh, the railing or the balustrades they are all uh, modeled in this block module so the same thing i did with this other block module so this is the other one this one is uh, is the one that was multiplied three times in the master um in the master model uh, architect file and uh, it has uh, underground parking so even with this one you have so shift G so that uh, you can see there's actually one, two, three, and then four point leak modules brought into this uh, Akiket file and uh, everything else like uh, the balconies and then the roof and then the feature, the feature columns, they are all modeled in this um, uh, module, in this block module, if you want to call that. Uh, so yeah, so that that's it. But I also want to show you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch off the overall Archicad file, the master Archicad file, so that I don't waste space. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, from my list. So I have this one, and then I have this one, and then I have this one. So these are the three sort of like apartment blocks or apartment units. Uh, let's go on to the PDFs. So this is the presentation that i sent out to the client so to get an approval or overall so this was a revision two because we already had uh session number one where he the client uh, went ahead and gave me some ideas change this do that do this do that so that it runs more efficiently looks better and then you have um let's start with this one so this is the simple studio you can see by the the uh, area schedule zones we have uh, the bathroom the end uh, the entrance and then kitchen and living area so as you can see you have the entrance bathroom kitchen and then living area in the living area you have your your bed and then your uh, sofa uh, facing the tv and then you have your kitchen with a, a breakfast nook uh, for for a sitting area a sink and then your fridge and then in the bathroom you have your bath um uh, wash and basin and then your water closet so that works out fine and then there is this one the simple double so two bedroom apartment uh, this the it has a um, uh, two bathrooms one is an institute and one is common and then what you also have because this one is simple 
uh, you own the living area, you only have the sitting uh, as a, an area for a sofa. And then in the kitchen, you have a breakfast nook, which also serves as sort of like a dining area for for your dining, basically. And then there's this one, which is the the grand double. The grand double is more so is exactly the same. The only thing that changes is that now you have uh, in the living area, it's much wider, and then you have your uh, your, your your dining table to to fit into that space so yeah so that's that's what it is so if we go ahead and open up these archicad models you can see that this is the um the simple unit mod, mod model and then uh, you have your this is the grand unit model because it has the the dining table and then you have this one which is the simple uh double because it's it's two bedrooms and then but uh it doesn't have a dining area so basically that's that and then uh yeah so that's it guys um we all once all of this is done and then i've created the 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 the, the, the 3d model and stuff like that uh for presentation purposes uh i did also send out a some um some renders some lumion renders to the client so as you can see right here the client was very happy with the outcome and uh, now it's just a matter of um, uh, starting the process of submission obviously the site is already zoned specifically for this type of this for this type of development so it's just a matter of uh, submitting the site development plan and then uh, doing the uh, actual submission of the building plans to get them approved so that we can start with the construction we've already lay, liaised with the um, uh, the structural engineers uh, actually this project to be more specific was a project that was um, a competition for me because there was another um, architect another professional uh, team that was working or working on developing this it just so happens that i won it because i was faster and my, des my designs were better working in 3d and uh, proper presentation and uh, so i kind of won this because of that uh, they they have a three person team i have my one person team but i was able to move faster uh, in producing a sort of like this, this this type of information so really appreciate akiket in that respect so yeah that's it for me richmond hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you like this video go ahead like comment and subscribe uh that's it for me see you guys on the next video love you guys god bless you and goodbye <laughs>